Hello, welcome to Casual Veteran Gamer. I have realised I haven't actually taken Glut through the Druids Grove and had a look at all the Druids. Now, in this save file, the Tieflings have left, and it's just the Druids left behind. So I'm going to have to go through the Grove, see what Druids I've got left over, and then go and raise them. I'm going to start with Korga, since she's right here at the front. Also, as an added bonus, I've got Merc on here, one of the Tiefling children, which could be quite interesting, because normally we... well. We can't kill children, which is quite normal in games nowadays. So, I'm going to kill Korga, maybe kill off some of the other druids. I know there's one up here at the Port Carlos, although we can't see it right now, but Tusk is up. I've seen Tusk walking around up here as well. So, I'm going to get to killing Korga, and then I'll show you her stats once she's dead. I've sped up the combat here because it's not really the focus of these videos. However, I've left it in just in case anyone is interested. You can either pause it or slow the video down, and you can see what's happened. Well, that wasn't so bad, apart from the fact she used Thunder Wave on everyone, so the poor old dead toll collector just died before, before being able to do anything. Anyway, let's go see Korga. Up she gets. Let's see, Wood Elf is expected, base speed 40 feet. All is expected. So, a few things here. She doesn't actually have very, access to very many spells. Right, first of all, these items you can loot off a body if she dies anyway. So nothing particularly special there, all expected. Then her abilities. She's only got one wild shape, which is the Dire Wolf. Thunder Wave and Cure Wounds as level 1 spells, level 2 spells, Misty Step and Heat Metal. And Offhand Attack because she's dual wielding. Her armor class is only 14 in her human form. We can have a look at her Dire Wolf form soon. Her stats are very good, all above average, minimum of 14. No bad stats whatsoever. Minimum bonus is plus two. Top, not not top, exactly top notch, but good st stats and strength and dexterity. Very good wisdom. Moving down. Venomous Revenge. When the wearer is healed, it. Oh, okay. That's just coming from her necklace. It's not actually from her as a character. Fey Ancestry, because she's a wood elf, which is fine. Elf, humanoid, all expected. Level one's. Spell slots, level 2 spell slots, there's actually quite a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 level 1 spell slots, 5 level 2, she'll never have an opportunity to use, to use them all. Resistant to poison damage, interestingly. And I don't think that comes from her uh, necklace, it's just because of who she is. Right, let's have a look at this dire wolf. So actually, we don't get a choice of a dire wolf. Oh, it looks the same as the wolf. Right, or have I just misremembered? Never mind. Let's just double check. <laughs> Still got these spells here, obviously can't use them. Cantrip. Uh, just, yeah, changing shape. So these are the stats of the wolf. Yeah, it's just the same as the wolf that our druids can, can turn into. But interestingly, I've seen this on other druids before, I think. They're, they She doesn't have the option to turn back into a human. She has to lose all her hit points first. There she goes, howling at that complete... Lack of turning ability being able to turn back into a human. Right. And since Mercon is here, I'll quickly have a look at him as well. I wouldn't expect much, to be honest. I don't think these children have any particular abilities. Yeah, just another another body on the ground, essentially. As happens quite often. Especially with characters that aren't don't take part in combat. All of these because he's a tiefling. Yeah, but he's 10 each because they haven't tried to do anything with him. Uh, not wielding any weapons, fairly sure. Okay, yeah, just got a bit of gold you can throw. <laughs> Damaging a barrel. Alright, not sure what. That really could expect much more from a tiefling child. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if there are other characters you want me to look at. I will be looking at the other druids in future videos. Make shorter videos rather than longer ones. Don't take up less of your time each time. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.